Well hey everyone, welcome to my live art show for July the 24th, as it is. Um, thanks for coming along and viewing my artworks. I'm going to showcase you four artworks. Um, there's five actual products to buy at the end. It'll make sense in a minute. Um, so yeah, with the, the world the way it is, a lot of people are on lockdown, a lot of countries still are on lockdown. Um, I thought I'd do a bit of a live show since people can't get to live galleries all around the world. Um, probably take about 20 minutes or so to get through everything. I'm going to show you them up close. It's uh, close-ups on them and have the backstory for them and the inspiration for them. So uh, grab yourself a beverage. Got yourself a nice beer here and uh, kick back and relax. Uh, if you're close to where I am, it's a very rubbish day outside anyway. And after all, it's Friday. So we'll get cracking into it. So the first one is one of my very early works. I used to just copy straight from a picture. I don't do that now. I, what I do is get a whole lot of pictures and sort of use all the different pictures for referencing. So obviously if you copy straight from a photograph, you might get slapped with a big legal fee or might end up sued or something like that and we don't want that. So anyway, this is one of my very early works from 2011. It's done a few miles, going uh, back and forth to different places. Been on display in a few different shops up and down the country. But anyway, this is it. It's entitled Champagne Showdown. And it's uh, Jules Villeneuve in the Ferrari 312 T4, battling with Rene Arnoux in the Renault RS11. This was during the 1979 French Grand Prix. I'll just hold it a bit closer so you can see some of the uh, close-ups and all the detail in it. Uh, if you haven't seen this battle between the two of them, I suggest you go onto YouTube and or, get, or even Google it. Or Google it on YouTube if that's a thing. Um, even if you just watch the last two to three laps, uh, absolutely epic battle between the two of them. It was going to be a potential Renault 1-2. So we had um, Jean-Pierre Jabouy in the other Renault taking the win. Uh, now Rene Arnoux was in second place the tenacious Villeneuve had a great battle with him last couple of laps banging wheels absolute heart in the mouth stuff uh, if something was like, like that was to happen in Formula 1 these days you'd have all kinds of protests, all kinds of inquiries it's just ridiculous but back then they got away with that stuff and that's why the old days are better so this is basically the painting itself as you can see the sides top painted as well so you don't have to go putting it in a frame don't have the extra cost of a frame or anything like that uh, strung on the back so it's ready to hang so you don't have to worry about doing anything just get it out of the package once you buy it put it on the wall sit back admire it Relax, have a beer. Oh, lovely. So this one I should also mention, usually you can't buy on my website. If you like the look at this and you want to go and buy it, there's a page set up on my website for this week only. The link to that page is in my bio. So go to my bio on my Instagram page and you'll find that link. So price-wise, this is very low. 
$2.99. Now, I should mention that that doesn't include tax and shipping, that, and it's in US dollars. But under 300 bucks, for one of my early works, I think I'm doing you a great deal with that. Now remember, of course, there's only one, so it's first in, first served. So that's number one, Champagne Showdown. Number two is Champagne Showdown. Didn't we just do this one? Yeah, so that's how we've got five artworks. So this is a print. Now it's not one of my G Clay prints that I usually sell on the website, which are very high quality. This is one of my very early budget prints that I've had printed up. So I've still got a few of these left. I'm doing these for $9.99 plus tax and shipping. This is number two, so it's about, uh, must be A3 size. Um, the reason why it's so cheap is because my other prints, which are G Clays, are resistant to any fading. They're guaranteed sunlight against, against sunlight, guaranteed not to fade for 75 years. This, it's just cheap. I shouldn't say it, but it's cheap. If you hang it up where it's going to get sun on it, it will fade. So hang it up in the man cave. Again, I'll just go in. So it's still got a lot of the detail. Obviously, not a, not quite the detail that you get from the original painting, but it's still pretty good. So that's artwork number two. Again, link in the bio. Go to the bio, and you'll find the link there. This week only. So I've only got a few of these. Artwork number three is Thunder in the Bay. Now this is a battle, this is from 1975. Uh, it's, I've not long completed the painting. I actually done the painting about five or six years ago and I repainted it. I wasn't happy with it, I was never happy with it. So I repainted it just to spruce it up a little bit, make it look a bit better. So, this is another one of the battles. This is uh, Leo Leonard in the famous PDL Mustang. Now, in New Zealand, this is still a very famous car, and so is the car behind it, which is Vauxhall Victor. But it's not just any Vauxhall, it's got a shared engine in it. In fact, it's uh, got the engine and all the running gear, even the wheels, from a McLaren M10 Formula 5000 car. So, very quick. So, basically Vauxhall and body shell only. Um, actually built by, I think it was Ross Stone, who went on to become famous as running the Stone Brothers racing team in V8 supercars. So, this was the PDL Mustang. It uh, was bought in America by Paul Fahey, who originally ran it. It uh, was actually a stolen car that had been recovered by police, so he got it cheap. It's uh, gone through many different colours over the years. It's now back to almost this colour, pretty much this colour scheme. I think it was actually powered by a Gurney Wesley engine Ford V8. This and this was actually on the Bay Park circuit, which closed down in 1995, I believe. And obviously, like all race circuits, that unfortunately die. Uh, it's now just houses, so bit of a rebel track. The organisers always sort of got off on the wrong foot and ran ran things the way that Motorsport New Zealand didn't want them to run. But 
but a fantastic track all the same. And yeah, if anyone was ever there, they, they've always got great memories of it. And actually in the background of this, probably can't really tell, but there's another car here, which is the Decon Monza. Shea of Monza built by the Decon company, driven by Alan Moffat. So anyway, this is, like I say, artwork number three. And for that, I'm doing it for $6.99. Again, this is in United States dollars, and that's excluding tax or shipping, so don't get too much of a fright with that. But that's way down from the retail price on the site. Again, link in the bio. How's your Friday been anyway? Alright? It's always better with a beverage. Right. Artwork number four. This is... Throw me out of the front. Super Mario. Now this is the 1978 championship winning car driven by Mario Andretti. Uh, the Lotus 79, one of the most beautiful cars, or beautiful Formula 1 cars ever made. It's one of the very first ground effect cars, or, or I should say it's a ground effect car that really made other teams sit up and take notice. Uh, in the uh, side pods here, inside was a basically a great big underwing which sucked the car to the ground it also had a sliding skirt sl sorry sliding skirts which uh actually contacted the track and provided a, a seal so it was basically just providing a vacuum so the car was able to be driven at, at the absolute limit and just make all the other cars look a bit silly really um, cool wee side story on that was uh, they actually found out the sliding skirts on the previous model the Lotus 78 complete, completely by accident they hit a scale model in the wind tunnel and one of the sides of the scale model came unglued and stuck, sat down and all of a sudden they found that they had a huge amount of pressure difference and suction in there. So that's Andretti. Now the, the laurel wreath is the same laurel wreath that they used to stick on the, the wing of the cars every time they had a, a uh, Grand Prix win. They'd come along and stick another one on, on the wing and try and fill the wing up with all these laurel wreaths with the names of the Grand Prix that they've won. So for this I've inlaid it with uh, 1978, which is the year, and uh, also the silver and red with the blue is actually the colour scheme on the top of Mario's helmet. Just get in there nice and close and show you some close-ups. And also uh, the pinstripe, which carries on around the painting, ties, ties in with that rear wing and the rest of the uh, rest of the car, which was all black and gold. By well, now they had to uh, make it a little bit less gold and more of a, a pale yellow, so that it showed up better on TV. As good as golden black is, it sort of clashes a wee bit and sort of gets lost. So that's a 20 by 30, and again, painted around the sides, so you don't need to worry about putting in a frame, just 
Hang it. Hang it on the wall. Sit back. Admire it. Have a beer. Did I say have a beer? Yeah. Let me know what you're drinking. Wine, beer, tea. Now that, did I say how much that was? I don't think I did. That also is $6.99 plus tax and shipping. I have to do that, otherwise the tech man comes right after me. Yes. So that was number four. Now finally, number five, quite a bit bigger. 36 by 24 this one is, which is fighting conditions. Now this is a bit of a bit of a crowd favourite. The Porsche 917 versus the Ferrari 512. This was uh, the Bullock 1000 or the BOAC, which is British Overseas Airways Corporation, which sponsored the race. 1000 kilometer race. The sports cars, 1970 this was, at Brands Hatch in England. The race was dominated by Pedro Rodriguez, who was in another 917. He went on to win by five laps. Um, this was after a very early crash by another competitor and Pedro failed to slow down for the yellow flags so the clerk of the course called him in to serve a pit, pit lane penalty. He then speared through the pits so the clerk of the course read him the riot act about speeding in the pits. Um, Pedro was a very fiery Brazilian being read the right act didn't help him, so he speared away and actually ran over the clerk of the course's foot in the process. But anyway, that didn't stop him from completely dominating the race. In second place in the race was actually Vic Alford and Denny Holm in this 917. So just a bit of a close up, just so you can see headlights and window wiper down there and trying to clear as much water as it can it was uh, absolutely bucking down most of the day throwing the spray and just the spray coming off the back wheel and obviously we've got the headlights shining on the road. Now again, painted around the sides, top, front side, even the bottom, I should mention that, they're, all, they're painted all around, so you don't need to worry about looking at the side or the, the bottom and going, oh, that should have been, that could have been done better. So no need to frame, again, Ready to hang. Buy it, unbox it, hang it up on the wall, have a beer, admire it. Easy as that. So, yeah, this one. Quite a bit bigger, so the price, price is a wee bit more, but eight forty nine US dollars, thirty six by twenty four. So it takes up a fair bit of a amount, a fair bit of space. But if you've got a wall that needs covering, of course you want to take up a bit of space. So again, link in my bio, or I'm on the web too. So you just go to kieranrobertsart.com. The July live show sale is there. It's 
it's only up for a week. So if you want one of these artworks at this price, get into it. I'll just go over them again. So number one. 24 by, eight, by 18, Champagne Showdown, 2.99. Number two, Champagne Showdown print, 9.99, dollars not $9.99, not $9.99, $9.99. Don't know the size in inches, I'm afraid, but. I'll get that sorted out. So if that's 24 by 18, it's your print size. Just slightly smaller. Number three, under in the day. Six ninety-nine. Twenty by thirty inches. Number four. Super Mario. Twenty by thirty also. Obviously not the other way. That's also six ninety-nine. And lastly, the big sucker. Lighting conditions, number five, 849. So that's basically us. I uh, hope if you're watching, you've uh, put up with me for long enough. Probably drive you to drink, wouldn't it? So, yeah. Uh, Anyway, yeah, that's basically me. Um, again, if you're interested in having a, a closer look at these artworks or you want to buy them, my link is in the bio on Instagram, or you can go to my website, karenrobertsart.com, click on the uh, page there, the live show, 24th July. And uh, yeah, of course, if you want some inspiration, go and check out that uh, 1979 French Grand Prix on YouTube. Fantastic battle. Anyway, that's about me. I've, uh, I've actually really enjoyed this. I didn't think I would. I thought it'd be stage fright. But uh, yeah, thanks for looking. Um, That beer's going down quite well. Yeah, so check on the website, link in the bio. Thanks for watching. Um, we'll probably do this again next month. Until then, see you later.